the Russian mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin is set to be under investigation by Russian intelligence tonight after claiming that Russia's war with Ukraine was started under false pretenses by top military officials. Prigozhin has thousands of personnel aiding Russia's onslaught in Ukraine, and he now says Russian troops have fired on his forces. There are also reports riot police and the National Guard are tightening security at government buildings in Moscow tonight. Meantime, as Lindsay Hillsum of Independent Television News tells us, Ukraine's capital of Kyiv has sprung back to life under the watchful eyes of air defense crews that guard the city. Every night over Kyiv and other cities, air defenses protect Ukrainian civilians. Every morning, in an undisclosed location just outside the capital, the radar guns and controls of a German Gepard system are prepared for action. Each gun fires 550 rounds per minute. In the last six months, this crew has shot down four Iranian-made Shahid drones and two cruise missiles, preventing death and destruction in the city. The main advantage of this self-propelled anti-aircraft gun is that it's simple to use because of the computer system and ease of control. Another important thing is that relatively cheap shells can be used to shoot down the very expensive, significant targets that our enemy has. The Ukrainian military celebrated the arrival of two Patriot batteries from the US and Germany in April. These missiles, by contrast, cost $4 million to fire, but they can shoot down ballistic and hypersonic missiles at long range. Last March, we saw the impact of a rocket strike on an apartment block in Kyiv. The mayor of the capital, Vitaly Klitschko, was there, and Olya Timoshuk from a neighboring block. It's 50-50, either you get hit or not. Now the block has been rebuilt, better than before, complete with Phoenix mural. And Olya no longer thinks she might have to leave the city. I sleep better at night, to be honest. Sometimes I don't even hear the sirens. So, like, I go to sleep and I know that I will wake up in the morning, actually. I believe in that more than I did last year, to be honest. And now it's, it's like easier, yeah, feels better. And what do you feel about the guys who are manning the air defences? Oh, they're heroes. <laughs> <laughs> but last month saw an onslaught, and while 154 missiles were shot down, 18 got through, killing five people. Good morning. The mayor of Kiev is therefore more circumspect. Uh, yes, of course. Blue sky, great weather, summer. It's peaceful atmosphere, in, and, uh, but it's an illusion. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. It's any moment we can listen uh, air alarm, bombing alarm. It means that every moment the, in every building can be destroyed from Russian missiles. Kyiv is full of outdoor cafes and bars. After the Russians were pushed back from the outskirts last spring, many people reverted to their old life, deciding that the odds of being hit by a missile or drone were acceptably small. Sometimes it's hard to remember this is a city at war. The contrast with the destruction and relentless fighting in the east is stark. The air defense crews prepare for another night. The safety of the capital civilians is in their hands.